is kind of growing, unfortunately, tomorrow, ladies, as we head into the afternoon hours, mainly after lunch, about 1 o'clock through about 8, 9 o'clock at night. You see this orange color here. That is an enhanced risk. That is a level 3 out of 5. And in that area, I'm very concerned with strong, damaging winds, tornadoes, and one or two could even be stronger. We also have that slight risk for everybody else, but we're watching again as this threat continues to grow. I want to break it down for you and show you that, yes, a tornado threat, that deep red you see from Nashville to Murfreesboro, that's an enhanced level, level three out of five for tornadoes. And yes, in that area, a strong one can't be ruled out. Hail, there could be a little bit of it, but we're not expecting that as much. Wind gusts also damaging winds, 65 miles an hour or greater, likely, especially from Nashville to Murfreesboro in that deep red color. So again, now's a good time to make sure you have the safety plan. Know where to go, the lowest level center of a room, a room with no windows. Have the phone charged and also in the on position so you can have a way to get the warnings. And make sure you download the Debbie Karen Weather app. You can do it right now. Get your cell phone out, put it in camera mode, aim it at the screen here. That's the QR code. It'll take you directly to the website and you can download it for free. It's a very useful tool. Again, this is coming in the afternoon. I know there's a lot of things people have to do. And I want to make sure you have a way to get those warnings. It's all coming from this system over in Oklahoma and Texas that is going to move our way as we get through the day tomorrow. Storm Tracker Radar Network right now, good and quiet, but that again is going to change. It is very warm outside, so we've got the warmth. We're going to get more humid. We're going to have all the ingredients necessary to get things going. Temperatures right now at 69 in Nashville. Look at Camden, 70, 68 in Dixon, and 68 degrees in Murfreesboro. We also have very strong gusty winds, and they're going to continue to strengthen overnight into tomorrow. That's why we've got that wind advisory up through southern Kentucky and west Tennessee now through 6 p.m. tomorrow. Middle Tennessee, parts of southern Kentucky under that from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. So even outside of storms, wind gusts could be around 45 miles an hour, maybe even 50 miles an hour at times. As you're going to see, watch them really strengthen during the day of Thursday here. They get real, real strong through the afternoon and then begin to back down as we head into the evening. So here's the latest timing and the thoughts with everything. In the morning, there'll be a few showers and storms around, not expecting anything severe. It's once we get past, say, 1, 2 o'clock, we start to see these storms develop from Hopkinsville around 3 o'clock near Clarksville to Camden and Linden here. Notice they're a little bit more linear now as they head towards the I-65 corridor between 4 and about 5 o'clock. But there are some bulges in here, and there's a lot of spin in the atmosphere, so there is that concern for some spinning storms. As we get towards, say, 6, 7 o'clock, now they've crossed the I-65 corridor. They're impacting Jamestown, down to McMinnville, Winchester, in a more linear line here. So that would mean more strong, damaging winds. And it is going to push out of here very quickly, so we aren't anticipating a ton of rain with this, maybe a quick inch to inch and a half when all is said and done. Now, behind the system, we're going to get real cold. In fact, there could be a few flurries first thing Friday morning as temperatures begin in the 20s. And then as we head through the day, we only warm into the upper 30s and low 40s for highs. So that's going to set us up for a pretty cool start to the upcoming weekend. So we're under that weather alert for Thursday. I want to make sure you're aware of that one. Again, for those strong storms, mainly between 1 and I'd say 9 p.m., then behind that, of course, we're going to turn much colder. We'll be in the 20s to begin Friday morning, 42 for a high. Over the weekend, dry conditions. So you can get outside and really enjoy yourself. 54 on Saturday. On Sunday, we're up to 64 degrees. And then get ready for an unsettled weather pattern to return to the forecast as we head into early next week, both Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Going to feature rain, showers, storms, and temperatures will be warm in the 60s on Monday, 70s on Tuesday, back down into the 50s on Wednesday. But we want you to really pay attention tomorrow to that weather. Remember, strong storms are possible. Tornadoes, gusty winds, hail and heavy rain are all